South Carolina ETV is the Palmetto State's public television service, teaching with television since 1958. This year, ETV partnered with the state newspaper to produce two documentaries in our Man and Moment series on South Carolina's World War II veterans. First, Medal of Honor winner, the late Charles Murray. He was a kindly older man with a warm smile by the time I came to know him. And T. Moffat Burris. We knew it was going to be a rough mission. He was a paratrooper whose experiences became the basis for Robert Redford's character in the movie A Bridge Too Far. At a special screening for family and friends, Burris had a surprise reunion with his 82nd Airborne comrade, Roy Hanna. Both programs are now used in schools and have gone on to national distribution on public TV. The Charles Murray program has been nominated for an Emmy. ETV mascot Smart Cat appeared in new HD segments between PBS Kids programs. Designed by physical education specialist, the fast and goofy exercises are designed to get kids up and moving. Smart Cat also encouraged literacy at live events by giving away over 2,000 scholastic books in English and Spanish. 40 scholarships were awarded to adults for literacy training. Bookmarks highlighting ETV summer literacy programs were distributed to libraries statewide, and ETV, the Knight Foundation, and Central Carolina Community Foundation used ETV and PBS programs and apps to create a pilot summer literacy program at Lexington School District 4. South Carolina ETV and the Roper Mountain Science Center in Greenville hosted a screening of telly winner Space Heroes, ETV's documentary on South Carolina astronauts Ronald McNair, Charles Bolden, and Charles Duke. Duke, one of only 12 men to walk on the moon, was ETV's guest at the screening and gave a bonus footage presentation to the audience. And here I am with an experiment called the penetrometer. It goes all the way in, which surprised me, so down I go. Uh, and now this is how you got to get up uh, on the moon if you're uh, down, uh, push up, uh, that didn't work, so another push up. <laughs> The life of Dr. Benjamin Mays is explored in the film Born to Rebel, Driven to Excel. Mays, born in the South Carolina town of 96, went on to become president of Morehouse College in Atlanta and a mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. If there hadn't been a Benjamin Mays, there wouldn't have been a Martin Luther King, Jr. The documentary debuted at a special screening at the Art Center of Greenwood, followed by a panel discussion including May's executive secretary, many of his students, and his great niece. Some of the biggest names in the South Carolina Civil Rights Movement shared their stories with high school students during ETV's Youth Media Summit at the ETV Studios. Students at the summit were taught the fundamentals of recording interviews, received guidance on strategies for documenting civil rights stories, and were given the rare opportunity to record guests of honor, including Congressman James Clyburn. ETV also explored the struggle to desegregate Clemson College in the documentary, The Education of Hardy Gant. The program is narrated by Tony Award-winning actress and singer Felicia Rashad and features historic civil rights photographs by Cecil Williams. Gant himself appeared at special screenings and on our sister radio service. ETV covers current events by broadcasting gavel-to-gavel -gavel statehouse coverage on its World Channel, streaming select committee meetings, and producing full-length interviews with elected representatives. South Carolina ETV hosted PBS's Antiques Roadshow in Myrtle Beach. ETV provided 120 volunteers for the production of three one-hour episodes. Over 6,000 South Carolinians brought over 12,000 objects for appraisal in a single day at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, which was turned into the famous TV set seen weekly on PBS. As items were appraised, ETV also produced a behind-the-scenes program for South Carolina audiences. The finished episodes premiered nationally beginning in February of 2013. It's Antiques Roadshow from Myrtle Beach.